what's going on it's Casey from casey-sounds.com today's video is a beat making video I've got an idea in my head and I want to see if I can get this idea down and make it sound make it bang the way it does in my head like in my head it sounds fire so I'm hoping I can get this idea down I don't know how it's gonna turn out but yeah let's just get into this video and see how it goes so yeah I've got a couple of sounds I've got some sounds in my head that I want to see if I can Get down. So, so what we got here? Then we got, as per usual, got some drums. I got a percussion loop, which sounds like. I don't know how I'm gonna get that in there, but I think I should, might be able to. Got the riser. Got a nice little vox sample in there. And yeah, got some some mallets in there and the BPM is 105 so let's see if I can um, get this done and I don't know if it's yeah it's the D scale we're gonna go for the D scale see how that goes like that. I had a different chord sequence in my head. It was are off quickly. Let's go with that for now. Change that to 116. I'm gonna make this an eight bar loop so we've got uh, some room to to do some stuff. Got the the chord sequence down. It's a bit ringy, if I'm honest. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. All right, let's go with that then.
right, so that that's us there. We need to put that at one sixteen. I'm just gonna duplicate duplicate that. I managed to forget to turn the microphone on so for the last part of the video you can't hear me talking about what I'm doing but I've done a voiceover just to show you or just to so you can know what I'm doing throughout the rest of the video um yeah it's one of them things that you do you learn from it you grow through it do you know what I'm saying so now you know what happened I'm just gonna have to do a quick voiceover just explaining what I'm doing throughout the video um, yeah, if you don't want to carry on watching it, that's no problem, I understand. But we all make mistakes. So all I'm doing at the moment there is just adding different drum sounds and then having to change it from 8th notes to 16th notes so that it stays in the same groove as what I'm playing. It's just turning down a kick drum because it's a little bit loud. Same with the snares and the and the claps there, a bit too loud, so I just dropped them a touch in the ultra beat sampler. process for that hi-hat sequence was I didn't want to do just straight 16th notes so I just wanted to fill the spaces just dropped in my favorite open hat sound if you listen to my beats you'll hear that sound all over them the sequence the open hat sequence because I weren't happy with that first one so what I wanted to do next is drop in another melody like a counter melody for the chord sequence that's already playing so I'm just quickly gonna go through some sounds and see what what I feel sound or sounded best
obviously happy with that one so I stuck with that one yeah once I got that done then I wanted to move on to the Vox sample see that I was slightly feeling that little Vox sequence there so I just kept that and then changed it from 8th notes to 16th notes. What I like to do when I'm making my beats is fill up an 8 bar loop and then when I'm ready to structure the beat I can strip it back in the verses and in the pre-chorus and the chorus and yeah just fill it up get all my ideas done and keep it moving. from 8th notes to 16th notes just so that it stays in the same pocket as how I played it. So now I want to choose a bass line. I'll, normally I'll just go straight for the 808s because I like 808s, I love the 808 sound. But I'm just thinking to make it a little bit different and go with a different bass sound. Sounds all right, what do you reckon? The next thing I wanted to do is get that percussive loop in. I like it, but I don't like how it sounds with the beat listening back to it the next day. So I think I'm going to take it out altogether. I feel like the percussive sound is too got too much top end so I'm just going to EQ the top end and make it a bit more of a low fire sound so I can just tuck it underneath the, the actual beat. At this point I'm thinking no I, I still need to get that 808 in there and somehow I'm going to squeeze it in there.
see, I knew I would be able to squeeze that 808 in there somehow, and I managed it, so I'm happy. Yeah, the bass line is bugging me a bit, so I had to change the, the end notes. Not sure what I'm trying to do there at all. That definitely doesn't work. Part, I'm thinking, uh, let me just drop some more hi hat runs in there and just make it sound a bit more interesting. But I don't think that it worked, so I got rid of it. Yeah, now the video's done, the beat's done, I'm happy with how it turned out. It actually turned out better than I, I imagined, so yeah, I'm, I'm more pleased with that. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram, I'm always posting up new stuff new stuff on my stories, like little tips and tricks I don't get to put on YouTube. If you like this video at all, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can keep up to date with the new stuff that I'll be putting out. As always, I appreciate your time, thank you for watching, music is life.